This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Guys, what am I doing back here? What am I doing back here? Is this the Nina zone? Why am I here? Like, I wasn't supposed to see you guys until Raw View for season 14. Why am I here? Why? Why? <sighs> Y'all know how we do it here. What's up? It's me, Pierre, a.k.a. Nina Bonina Brown. We are back for another Raw View, unfortunately. But before we get into why, remember this is a place where we come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Okay? Like, look, share your opinions. We share our opinions. We keep it respectful towards each other. I may say things you may not agree with, and that's fine. Just agree to disagree. Let's move on and have fun. Yeah, so I got up and got on YouTube, and I saw that RuPaul's Drag Race had streamed around 12 o'clock All Star 7. And I'm like, wait, what? I was thrown off because I'm like, the, the next thing that I thought was going to come out was the all winter season. And yeah, so come to find out, they're literally calling the all stars winter season. They're calling it all stars. Like, I thought it, I thought it would have been called like winter season. I don't get why they're hiding it underneath this like realm of like all star seven. Because then it makes it seem like certain people are just hair all the time like Shea kool is there I haven't seen the whole cast yet but I know Shea is there and I'm like didn't you just win All-Stars 5 a month ago <laughs> well didn't it just last month bitch like damn like are y'all about the juju be her like come on <laughs> it's almost just like the um the UK versus the world that was basically another All-Stars it's like oh my goodness and from what I hear, it's going to be only on Paramount. So it's like, those of y'all that literally got rid of Paramount after All-Stars 5, or was it 6? Time to get it again. <laughs> I don't understand. This is a mess. I'm just like, goodness, no chill. There's no chill. There's no chill at all. But yeah, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about who's on the cast, our impressions, what we think is going to happen. Um, rent or buy the outfits, you know, the same old, same old. Um, yeah, and if y'all do like the tip and, you know, me doing these content, please do. All the tipping information will be in the description box down below. And I will gladly read your name in my season 14 video, which will be in a few days. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's sit back, relax, and see which girls we are going to tear apart. I mean, support. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I needed an introduction. I guess. <laughs> See, and I could never say anything because I know y'all gonna all make you think that, oh, you're just jealous of Shay. And I'm actually not. That was okay. <laughs> the entrance line. <laughs> but the look is cute. I love the orange on her. It's a cute look. I will buy the look. I will buy it. But I'm just like... You know what? It, I'm not excited for this at all. Like, literally, I don't, like, and I think you just have to be, a, like, I think the fan part of me of the show is kind of, like, gone. And, like, being that it just, it just keeps being thrown in our face. And I know a lot of y'all don't mind. You're like, give us all the drag in the world. Uh, but, like, for me, it's just, like, I can't be excited because I just seen her. I literally just seen her win a month ago on All Stars 5. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, bitches, she's that? So we have Jada Essence. Okay. Okay, so as far as the look goes, I will rent the look. It's okay. I'll rent it. Um, Jada 
in a way does deserve this because she didn't really have much of a win because of the whole pandemic that was going on. So it's like, okay, like, you know, cool. Um, but yeah, like we said, yeah, yeah. Some of these people we've seen like so many times, not saying her, but like as far as like just being on drag race where it's like, okay, like has this, like it's almost, it's almost just be, just be, just become the producer's favorites and what they want to see on drag race over and over again. Not what the fans want, but like what they want to see. <laughs> but yeah, Jada definitely deserves like another chance. So we'll like see. <laughs> This is when I cut it off. I can't support her at all. Cause this bitch always got something to say about me whenever she has the mother effing chance. She's so worried about my living situation. She's so worried about who I'm staying with when she needs to worry about the rolls on the back of her neck. Girl, and it's just sad because you would think artists you, you you would think somebody who is in the realm of like the arts that like I do, we would get along, but it's normally not like that. It's just like even with like Dax and them, it's like we it's like for some weird reason, artists that are kind of like on that same wavelength don't get along for some weird reason. So like I can't even really support her because she always has foul things to say about me. So I'm not happy to see her. That's just being honest. But being that I can be a mature person, I will still watch the show accordingly and judge accordingly and speak about the costuming accordingly and not just say things because I may dislike this person. So, as far as this look goes, I will rent the look. Her makeup seems to have got like better from this. From this, so like, I will say I will I will rent this look. Body, body, and more. Okay, so we got Trinity again. <laughs> again, <laughs> I will say I don't like this look. I don't like it. And she looks older or something. Yeah, I don't really care for this. Um, yeah, it does age her. It does. Like, yeah, it, it, like she looks she looks older. Now, I'm going to say something, and y'all just know how I am. And this is nothing, because, like, no, me and Trinity are cool. Like, we don't talk like that, but, like, I know, like, if I was to call her and be like, bitch, I need something, she'd help me out. You know, but... This is the queen that, you know, we were talking about how they came out as trans non-binary. Which, you know, this is her story to tell, you know, but like people have been asking me about it. I'm like, I'm going to speak about it, you know, respectfully, you know, and give my opinions on it. You know, I always looked at Trinity as just, you know, someone who wanted to get work done because they're in the pageant industry. So like, that's what a lot of pageant girls do. They get work done, not because they want to be trans, but so they can, you know, look better in the part that they're doing, you know? The only issue with this, the, and this is the only issue, and this is just calling it what it is and just, you know, speaking facts of what I'm seeing, is that I hate the timing of it. And I'm not saying that it was done intentionally, but just the timing of announcing that you're trans non-binary and a new season is coming out. I don't like that. I don't, because it seems like you know it's the thing to do. You know people are going to want to root for that, so say it. Like, that's the only issue. So that's just me giving you my, giving y'all my two cents, because y'all were asking me about it. People were bringing it up. So that's my two cents on it, okay? Besides that, if that's what she is, that's what she is. I will still support Trinity Taylor because, you know, she is a season nine sister. So I will support her, you know, so I have nothing against her, but that's just my two cents on that situation, you know. Um, but yeah, wish her the best. You know what they say, Monet changes everything. 
Another queen who, you know, has had some things to say about me. I can't get with this cast. I really can't. I can't get with this cast. Unfortunately, I wish I could, but like, and I never even met this person, but I have had things to say. But just Pierre, look past that. Just look past it. You're doing your raw view. You're doing your review. Just review the show. With that being said, I like this look. I don't know how I feel about the 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 wrist the wrist pieces, but um I do like the look. The hair looks nice. Um, yeah, the only thing I wish I wish Monet would ex would explore more with makeup, like actually putting on. Just putting on like more makeup to change like the face structure and different things, you know. That's all. But yeah, the outfit, the hair, the natural black hair. Yeah, I will actually. Yeah, I'm gonna rent this look. Oh. Okay, we got Jinx Monsoon. It's monsoon season. <laughs> Jinx is another one, bitch. I'm like, where's the makeup? <laughs> Where is it? Um, but she's giving me woman though, girl. She's been, you could tell she has been like, she's been eating good. That's not a read. A lot of y'all don't understand the difference between somebody calling somebody fat and somebody just saying like, oh, mama been eating. Like, girl, mama got some thickness on her. And, um, and it fits her, you know? And I'm like, you know what, one thing though, I never, I have nothing against Jinx at all. Like, I never got onto the Jinx train. I never understood it really, but maybe this All Stars were here, she will help me understand what the train is all about so I can hop aboard. But besides that, nothing against her at all. Um, as far as the look goes, it's cute. I, did she walk in with this on her season? Something like this, I can't remember. But yeah, I will rent the look, I will. Jinx Monsoon internationally. She's wow. <sighs> I did like Roger's saying just now, but an another girl who, <laughs> yeah, like this. Is <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, all I know is that Miss Thing better bring it. Because, honey, all the boots she didn't gave on Fashion Photo Review, bitch, she better bring it. As far as this look goes, it's an eyesore to me. It's a lot going on. Like, I want to, like, I don't think, I think I like it. But I think I don't. But I think I like it. It's a lot going on. It's like a, it's like a bunch of stuff just thrown together. The legs look nice, though. The legs look nice, though. Um... I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'll put it on layaway. I'm not sure. Raja is here, and she's about to teach y'all. Come on for the Illuminati eyeball. Yes, me. Um, represent queen. <laughs> Girl, for a second, I thought that was Raven, but I was like, I forgot Raven's black now. Um, so we got the Vivian. She looks good, bitch. She looks good. She looks good. Like, see, I'm excited to see her because I feel like I haven't seen her. Because I don't really follow them like that. And I haven't, like, you know, I don't know what the UK girls are doing. But I'm excited to see her. And she gave me an eyeshadow palette. So, she looks good. Like, I'm going to, like, like I have, so her, yeah, cool. She's there. I can, like, I can, I can F with that. Um, I'm going to buy this look. Yeah, she looks good. I think she's going to be a slight little threat. I think she will be. We'll see. My name is the Vivian, and I'm. Oh, she's had a lot of a lot of work, more work done. Oh, mama, girl, mama's face is filled to the extreme, honey. Yes, ma'am. Girl, is a lot of work. That is that is wow. Just just wow. Just wow. Whoa. So this show is airing May twentieth. So, okay, so this week, what's today's date? Today is April 13th. So Friday will be the 15th. And then that'll be the, is it a reunion? I think. And then next week will be the finale of season 14, I believe, where they crown a winner. And that'll be, what date is that? That'll be the 22nd. So... The season 14 winner will have 
about two weeks to rain until the All Stars seven shows. So <laughs> I think they gave her a few more days than the last time they gave the other winner. So that's good. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I have to get I have to give Shay that girl and her and her designer. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous crystal girl. <laughs> Talk crystallized. That is beautiful. And she finally got the right sheer panel of darkness. And because girl, because mama, mama will put on a light skin sheer panel, and I'm like, girl, that's not your skin tone. <laughs> that is pretty. Ready for the promo shoot of All Star Seven. Trinity looks pretty too. I love this theme. It's so gorgeous. I'm like, yo, did everybody get the same costume made from the same person? <laughs> that is so pretty. Like, how how would you even travel with that? I'll be scared that everything would just fall apart. <laughs> not, not somebody that said, why are they doing why are they doing Meet the Queens? We already met them. <laughs> Some of them we'd already met more than once, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, why? There's no point of this. We already know who they are. So I wasn't even quite sure if I was ready for it. Raj's look to me is just okay. This one's just okay. It's very, it's very grandma. <laughs> it's okay. Together. I just wanted to come back this time and I just want to... Hmm. I love the corset part. This is, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is giving me like crystallized hooker. <laughs> I rent this one. Because now I have the opportunity Yes, ma'am. I've seen this kind of wig before, but not with all the, like, the pearls on there like that, or, or the studs. That's pretty. What makes this season different than even All-Stars is that they are all winners. A lot of them won their Snatch Games. Now, be real. This isn't that much different from All-Stars, like, like the winning All-Stars. It's not nothing different. It's just another version of All-Stars with you same girls getting opportunities than other girls are getting. That's all it is. It's just drag race throwing it in our face. See, these are our favorites. Our other drag race family members. Good luck, girls in the world. <laughs> that's literally all it is. It's like, that's why I can't, like, honestly, so far, this cast for me isn't doing it. It's not doing it. But then again, the show isn't for me. This is for the, this is for the, the fans who still think drag race is the best thing ever, you know, and that's fine. But, like, it's not for me, you know. But the cast right here is not... I mean, it'd be cool to watch them, I guess. You know, to see the runways, the challenges. We'll see. But it's not that much different than the All-Stars. Girl, Shay looks, yes ma'am, girl. This look is everything, girl. I have to give it to her, girl. And I like that she chose a dark sheer panel for the nude illusions. Thank God. I was a guest voice actor on one of my favorite cartoon shows, Steven Universe. Oh, I didn't know that Bendela did some voice acting on Steven Universe. That's cool. Because she is talented. Like, her and um, Bendela, like, they are, like, actors. So, that's good for her. I've won multiple national titles. I've won Drag Race. You did all this. So, why are you here? You don't need this. <laughs> You're sickening, girl. <laughs> Able to top Donald Trump? Hopefully not, because I've heard he's also a top. <laughs> I'm not hearing that Donald Trump is also a top. I hate you. <laughs> oh, I didn't miss that laugh. <laughs> Give me the crown of crowns. Another. Just looking at Vivian, I don't know. I just like looking at her. I think she just had. She look, She seems like a star to me, and I never give people compliments like that, and it hurts me. It burns. Um, and I think because she kind of looks like Meryl Streep, <laughs> which is why I think I kind of like looking at her. Because <laughs> like when I see her, I see death becomes her. <laughs> So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Somebody was saying, like, the girls on here seem like they're like, they don't really care. They're just like, we're fine no matter what. We're just here. And that's what it seems like. It's almost like there used to be, a, there used to seem like there was a heart to All Stars. Like, I thought the purpose of All Stars was to bring back girls, you know, who they thought were stars, but to give people a second chance. And this has now become, you get, a fourth chance, you get a fifth chance, you get a car, you win a car, you win a car. And a lot of these girls, they don't really care because 
Yeah, they're all talking about, oh, we're sisterhood. But they don't really care because they already have had so much success from Drag Race and so many chances from Drag Race and so many opportunities from Drag Race that just y'all giving them another thing to do is like, okay. Like, I want to see some girls that haven't had that much success, that much luck, that many opportunities, and see them truly appreciate the beauty or truly appreciating. And I, I'm not saying that these girls don't appreciate it, but, like, I want to see girls who truly need the chance, truly need the opportunities, and so that their name can grow, their brand can grow, and see what they get from it. But it's like, what, what, what more are we saying? Like, we're just going to keep giving the same people over and over again the same opportunities? Like, what message is Drag Race trying to send is what I don't understand. I don't get it. I truly don't get it. And I'm not even speaking for myself, because y'all already know how I say about, about doing All-Stars. I'm just saying, for other people that I know deserve the chance, like, if y'all want to do these kind of shows right here, don't call it All-Stars. Call it something else. Like, be like, okay, this is another series. This is the winners, this. Like, why is this considered an all star season? Are y'all running out of all stars? Is what y'all are saying? Like, y'all are running out of all stars? So y'all just pulling back girls again and again who y'all think are stars? I don't. It is it, it it makes it less special for me. It really does. It's not as special as it could be. Why not? I can't wait to see what you think about the most amazing. Okay, so that was the end of that. I do like how they did kind of like the meet the queens per se, but like showing them in like just like getting ready, made it seem like a, like a documentary in a way that was kind of cute. Um, the girls, most of the girls there did look fabulous in their um, promo looks, they did. Um, and so I know some of y'all are gonna watch this and think that like, I don't know, well, y'all already, already think this way. Oh, she's being bitter, da, 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 da. No, I'm just being real, I'm being like a realist, like I'm being a real person. Um, somebody who actually was a true, true fan of Drag Race, somebody who thought the brand was about something else and it's totally different now because it's become this money machine and it's just not even like the same essence that it used to have, you know? So like, I really am kind of disappointed. I can genuinely say, like I said again, I'm not really that excited about this. Like genuinely I'm not. I'm hoping that when it comes on, it changes my mind and that it really is gonna be a good thing. But it just seems like another cash grab. You know, another like, okay, let's make sure RuPaul keep getting her money. You know, that, that's what it seems like. It doesn't seem like anything that special. <laughs> you know, like it's just another spinoff, that's all. It's just another thing. But those of y'all, but, but with that being said, the girls that are there, you know, well, most of them. I am happy for them. I am because, you know, it's not their fault that drag race and the producers keep calling them. It's not their fault. So, like, if they can keep getting opportunities and making money and putting it, putting it into their future, that's good for them. Like, congrats to that. I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at the producers and the people behind the scenes of, like, hello? Could y'all wake up and, like, actually reach out to the drag race family that y'all claim we have and reach out to other girls who need the opportunity. So many queens, and it's not y'all's fault, but so many queens have stopped doing drag after drag race because they're not getting the same opportunities that the other girls are getting. And once again, that's not the producer's fault because like they don't have that much power on somebody quitting their own drag, but that is part of the reason. It truly is. And I don't think it's right. And I just gotta, like in my spirit is telling is telling me to say this. I don't think it's right. Like I don't hold nothing back. I'm not gonna hold it back. I think what y'all are doing is a little grimy, a little shady, a little slimy, and y'all could do better. I do. I truly believe that. I know RuPaul and them say that they don't like they don't like Willem and William and like other queens and stuff like that. But imagine a season, bitch, with William, Tyra Sanchez. If y'all want to say me, whatever. Else. Girl, do you know people would tune in to watch that <laughs> just for the just to see, you know, all these so-called cancel queens, pearl. Girl, people would tune in. It'd probably be the, the most watched drag race ever. So if y'all want to really play smart and play that game, think about that. So y'all, let me know down below. Who y'all are excited for, who you're rooting for. Y'all know I don't never like root for anybody, but if I had to say I'm rooting for somebody, I think honestly at this moment it's the Vivian. 
and maybe Jada, only because she didn't really have like she did have she she, she did she was booked and doing things, but her win just seemed like it was kind of overshadowed by the pandemic. So that'll be the reasons. Um, y'all, let me know. But yeah, with that being said, I hope everybody is gonna have a blessed time out there and take care of yourselves. And as always, remember to stay beat. Remember to stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye. Dear diary, I really hope Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. I still don't know where the manager is. All the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Carrie White, get down here and praise God. Coming, Mama. And where's Boo Boo? Oh. Why? Why?